Hey there, guys. This is uh, Days of New. I'm going to start a, uh, a a new series on Eastside Hockey Manager Early Access. I just want um, uh, new players to buy it. I think it's a great game. Uh, let's see. I'll just go ahead and get into the game here. Uh, you have to download it through Steam. I never did Steam before. I'm very new to PC gaming, really. So um, download Steam. Buy it through Steam. Right now it's fifteen dollars because it's in early access uh, mode, which means it just came out. Um, they're trying to see how much support there is for it. So if you like management, uh, sports, uh, sports uh, management system games, please buy it. If you love hockey, buy it. Um, it's just fifteen dollars. When the game does come out, like in its full polished, finished version, um, it's going to be I think probably thirty or forty. In that range, get it now for 15. All right, so let's go ahead and click on it. It fires right up, as you can tell. Doesn't take a lot to run the game. Um, I think any PC in the last 15 years will work, probably. All right, so this is the game. Uh, this is the main screen. It's made by Sports Interactive. Um, Sega's involvement. I'm not really sure about that, to be honest with you. Um, EastsideHockey.com uh, is the main website. Or sports interactive. Uh, let's go to the the credits here. This is how it all looks. There's uh, back arrows on every page, even like in the game. Back, see, it's um it's simple at first glance, but once you get into playing the game, it can be very uh, complex. Um, I know a lot about hockey. I'm kind of obsessed with hockey, and I found it to be fairly difficult for me to grasp the way that it is because I'm brand new to this kind of thing. I'm brand new um, to like in-depth management system games. Um, I play NHL on the Xbox 360. The be a gym on that mode is fun. That's a simplified version of this. This is much, much, much more in depth. I can't stress how, 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 how much more in detail this is. It's incredible. Um, yeah, so I'm making this video for people um, that are new to it, don't know anything about it, and they're interested or they're confused by it already and, and they've already bought it, or they're on the fence about it, they're not sure to buy it, because I had a buddy of mine that suggested it on Facebook. I was very on the fence about it. I love hockey. I'm like, hey, you know, it's 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 like BGM, but it's way better. And I was just really on the fence about it. And then, like, well, it's 15 bucks. I love hockey. Even if I buy it, and it's too much for me to deal with. You know what? It's 15 bucks going to a good cause for a company that does things right. This is the same company, Sports Interactive, down here, that make the massively popular football manager, or soccer, as we say in America. So let's go ahead and dive in here. I hope this, this video helps. I um, hope it helps you buy it. And if you've already bought it, I hope it um, helps you understand this, uh, some things. I'm still learning a lot myself. I just I have a pretty good grasp on it, and I think I can explain things in a pretty good way. Uh, all right, so EHM community down here, SIGames.com. Uh, that's the form right there. This is off right here. Some of this, I guess they'll fix that. It's not a big deal. You can't see it. it says Sega.com. Um, the soundtrack. It's kind of stupid. Um. The unofficial websites, this game is not licensed, so there are no real players in it. Although, you can download actual rosters and face packs and logos. You can download all that stuff right here at ehmthebluelon.com. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and click on that just to show you. I'm using the actual screen shape for the video recording. But yeah, that's the website. So, let's go ahead and go back to the game. Um, all right. So that's that. Um, like I said, right here at EHM, the bluelon.com, you can download logos, face packs, uh, all kinds of stuff for it. Um, you know, uh, different colors and backgrounds. When you buy the game out of the box, it's basically very plain. That looks a little bit unofficial, I guess, because there's no licensing with the NHL. And um, it's kind of like, eh, you know. I mean, you know, but like uh, when I bought it, I knew I could, you know, uh, modify it. It's pretty easy to modify. There are other uh, videos about that. 
All right, let's go ahead and get into some other things here. I don't want to ramble too long. I think I already have, but yes, yeah, so you got credits, people that have made the game right there. Pretty self explanatory. Go back. Um, the community, you can quit right there. The network right here, it is, um, it's not done, so you can't play online with other, play, uh, with other players. They are going to be adding this in the next few months. Like I said, it's an early access mode or edition. The game is playable, works great. There's still a few bugs here and there, sure. But um, all in all, it's a great game. All right, let's go to preferences here. Let's go through some meat and bones of it. Um, I've noticed in this game, there's several ways to get to one page, kind of, if it makes sense. So, you know, so just, just, just keep it simple. I overanalyzed everything when I first bought it, made it like a lot harder on myself than I need to. All right, let's go. Currency. You can select all these different currencies here. It's pretty incredible. <laughs> It just, it just, it just fun. I mean, I mean, I live in the USA, so I'm never gonna select, you know, the Russian ruble, or whatever, or you know, I'm not au de front. I'm not gonna do that. But it's still cool. I think it's just cool. Date format: North American. Um, measurement: uh, Imperial, because we don't use metric system here. Wages: Yearly, weekly, monthly. You're you can select whatever you want to select, but I think you, you know, uh, yearly is probably the best, as that's what everybody uses. Auto save every two weeks. Rolling files. If you do date stamp files, it constantly saves another thing, another game file every time you save. It can take up a lot of space. Rolling files basically keeps your original save and then three uh, uh, overwritten saves, I guess. So I prefer that. Database. This is basically, um, uh, this comes from uh, how big. Uh, well, uh, how much information the database in which you're playing can store, how much information and different players that it can have. Um, it does slow it down a bit, I guess, but I just do full because it's more detail. You're playing a simulation, not an arcade game. Game store, this is how many games you can go back and look at, um, like box scores and stuff, how many actual data games it stores that you can go back and look at. Background games, that's when you're simulating and you're watching if you want to actually watch the 2D stuff happen. Uh, text file, if you want to print your stats out, whatever. Save compressed. Um, by doing so, there's a small but unlikely chance that your save could be corrupted, but that's why we use rolling files. So if that were to happen, you were to be, um, you know, okay. Uh, save safely, it creates basically a, a duplicate save when it does save. In case something happens, you'll have it. Hyperlinks, that's just so you can click on stuff, like you know, like I showed you all go. Tutorial screens, um, pretty helpful, I guess. Um, this is where people kind of complain a, a lot about this game. It's the the display. I don't have a problem with it. You can basically, I can't do windowed mode for some reason. It won't let me. But I don't like that mode anyways. I can do borderless window, which is what I have right now. Although you can't see that because I'm only I'm only capturing the actual game screen, which is not full screen, which doesn't bother me. Or I can do uh, full screen where the outside edges, the left and right edges around the game are black. But I have it to where you can see programs in the background. It makes it easier to get out of. If you're playing the game, you come back out of it. Um, not a big deal. But as I said, I'm recording, you know, the actual thing. Uh, you know, like what you are seeing now is all that the uh, the program is, I guess. Sorry. Uh, skins, traditional colorblind. Uh, if it's traditional, I mean, you can see a color-coded system, like green is good, red is bad, of the player attributes. We'll get to that later. Game clock counts down. North American score displays, of course. You can do 1 to 100, like, uh, like uh, EA Sports does, or 1 through 20. I prefer 1 through 20. It really gives a lot of value to like a 17, because you know he's 17 of 20. And it just I don't know. Or you can do hidden, which they're all hidden, and you and you and you can only find out how good a player is by scouting them, and you can never see the uh, attributes, I believe. Uh, okay, and background images, profile images, of course you want those on. Play sounds. The server is not working. And my stuff is going right here. So um, that's pretty much it.
uh, let's go ahead and start a game. I have a, a testing file here that I've been working on. Um, let's go ahead and start one up here. A whole new one. Oh, wait. Uh, well, I'll just get to that later, I guess. I've already imported this, the Blue Line roster 7.3. It's basically the roster's post-trade deadline. They're amazing. Uh, you get these little hints right here, but they're very, see, as you can see, they're very quick, so you can't hardly read them. Kind of irritating, I guess. Uh, I guess over time, you'll get them. Select the leagues from here. The preferred start dates. So, this is all the leagues in the game. You have the Canadian uh, leagues, the junior leagues, Ontario, Quebec. You have, like, the actual cup that you can do, the uh, CHL cup, which is very interesting. Uh, again, I have logos and everything installed. So the way my game is going to look, that's about as good as it can get. Because I've got all the extra stuff installed. Uh, thanks to the great Blue Line uh, community that I've talked about a few times. Um, the fin Finnish leagues, the Liga, the uh, Mistis, I guess. And I don't know how to say that one. The Germans Big League. I mean, you've got all this. They, they just added the Great Britain League, I think, in the last update. Um, well, well, not the Great Britain League, but you know, four different leagues from them, uh, different ones. Um, they can select all of them, which would really slow it down. Uh, enhanced, if it is selected on uh, uh, enhanced, that means the game is going to do it the full way, the full experience. If you select it view only, it means it's it means you can't do anything within that league if if it's selected that way. It just kind of simulates the scores and stats. It's kind of like a kind of like a cheap, unofficial way of simulating it. It's still the same, I guess. Um, people have argued that the simulation statistics and the view only are a bit different than the enhanced. I would agree with that. Um, enhanced is always the best way to go. But if I selected this with all of them enhanced, it would be absolutely insane. I could go obviously like you manage who you want to manage, but you can go to all of this and see everything. You can see everything in every league. It's incredible. I'm not going to do that, though. I'm going to do the select all. It'll be very simple. United States, National Hockey League, AHL, ECHL. That's right, ECHL. You can't get that in the uh, suck-ass version of the uh, EA Sports titles. Um, I'll, you know, I'll go enhance with both of these. Now, you can view these other leagues, but you have to, like, search for them. They're not, like, spoon-fed to you. Um, you can click on them and stuff. Uh, it's kind of hard to understand, I guess, if you're not playing. But um, it's not a big deal. Just click these. That's what you're interested in. That's what you're going to do. Go next here. No fantasy draft. No randomized player names. Fog of War is where... Uh, I can't remember exactly. I think it's where some players' attributes are not visible at the start. And so you've got to um, scout people more, I think. Let's go view it. Go here, player game, uh, the uh, player manual. You won't be able to see all of it. Well, yeah, actually you can if I keep it this size. All right, so yeah, we'll just go down here. This is the manual, it's pretty in depth, very helpful. Um, yeah, we'll go down to where, yeah, fog of war. Um, it's attribute masking concept is that your manager won't know every player in the world, obviously, and so you slowly gain stuff. Basically, it makes it more realistic. And in a hockey simulation, you want things to be realistic. So we'll do that. Okay. See, it it, it tells you some pretty interesting things, um, but you can't ever see it all hardly unless it's short like that. Um, there is a way to go into the files and open it up in a notepad, and you can actually view all that at once, kind of, like in the coding, I guess, or whatever. But, um, but yeah, you can just read it there. A lot of it is common sense. Like, when I bought the game, I overanalyzed it um, pretty badly. I was trying to do everything right, and, you know, I just it's best just to go with it and enjoy it. It's supposed to be fun, so make it fun. <laughs> And the loading times seem kind of long. I mean, this is a PC game, and it's taking this long, right? 
but once you understand how much information this thing processes to an accurate degree, it's incredible. Also, this game um, came out in late March, so it's been out for two months exactly. It's had an update every two weeks since then. Every two weeks, which is awesome. With EA Sports, you get that once a month, and it's a roster update. Maybe a tuner in the first month or two. It sucks. This, they actually care. They're actually trying to make this good. So they want people to buy it so they can make it better. It's just it's really simple. Uh, I just hope uh, today's day and age is more into this kind of thing. It's time consuming if you have time. I don't have too much time, uh, but, you know, it's fun. All right, manager details. Select the league you want to start managing. Try to speed this up. I'm just trying to be thorough. Sorry, guys. All right, let's make me put in my name here. Last name W because I'm kind of private about stuff. Nationality, you can do whatever. <laughs> just, you know, if you want to make a dumb guy, just it, it's whatever. Um, USA, I'll keep it realistic. Birthday, I'll just I'll put my year and month in, not my date. It's kind of private, I guess. Confirm. Past experience. This is where people usually go automatic on this. I do not recommend that. Um, basically, you're telling the game how experienced you are as a as a GM. If you're new to the game, um, well, it reflects how much leniency that they will give you. Like, if you pit like Hall of Famer and you suck and your team is in the playoffs, they might fire you. I don't know. I've not really done that yet. Done Hall of Famer. Um, I mean, it's all about how you want to go for it. It's kind of like a difficulty mode on getting fired, essentially. Um, like, for me, or you could look at it like, like, you know, like how much actual experience in real life. Like, for me... I'm a recreational player in real life hockey because I'm doing it as me. So in real life, I'm a recreational player. I'm not like an actual minor leaguer. Or you can look at it like, well, I'm playing the game, so you know how hard don't. It's just whatever. Uh, the manual says, let's go to it real quick, just so I can clarify. It's one of those things that you pick, and I don't even know if you can change it after you do it. Here we go. Uh, zoom in here. Yeah. Uh, experience, yeah. Right here, you can read it. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. It's gonna be a long video. Was not my intention. So I'll go. I'll go junior player. You know, I you know I I know enough about it to, you know, figure it out. You can actually manage whatever league you want here specifically. I can go ECHL and work my way up. I can be the GM of the Cincinnati Cyclones. Cool logo, right? Call the Eagles. See, like I said, you can scroll through here and look at them, or you can just click through here and look at them. And you can actually click on the team and see their roster, see their stats. This is before you actually go into the game. Um, like some of the some of the uh, information isn't completely. Well, I mean, it's accurate, but it's not like uh, see like the records or where was that? Eh. Hold on for a second. See, I'm I'm having a hard time trying to show you stuff. There's just so much you get. Maybe it's not in here, whatever. But um, tells you like the fan support. So you know, I, I don't know much about the ECHL. So if I pick them, I might want to go with a team that's going, you know, go with a team that has like a bad fan support, just so I can like raise it up. You know, it's whatever. But yeah, we'll be traditional. We'll go with uh, you, you, uh, you can go with the Olympic team. You can go with you know USA. Boom. I think that's reflective on the World Championship team actually, or the potential team. I'm not really sure actually on that roster. But yeah, um, under twenty you can do under twenty. Finland under twenty. See, it's all there. Pretty crazy. All right, let's go with the NHL. All right, I'll just pick, pick a team. Click, 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 click. We'll do on three. One, two, three. Coyotes. All right, we'll do the Coyotes. All right, Arizona Coyotes. Fan support, passionate. I would, I wouldn't agree with that. I mean, I mean, they have a hard time filling their seats up. I mean, then again, you could say that ones that do come are passionate. I don't know. I wouldn't say they're passionate though. I would say it's less than that. 
Um, drop a common arena. Western see like a lot of this stuff is clickable. So you just click it and go to it. Pacific, the uh, Pacific Division. Click, boom, you're there. And you can look at league leaders. Wait, hold on. Yeah, there we go. I mean, uh, you know, you can Portland Pirates. It's not clickable actually for some reason. It's weird. But um, yeah, a lot of it's clickable like that. Team finance is secure. I disagree with that. Whatever, you know, it's not a big deal. It really isn't. So let's go into it. So we are taking control of the Coyotes. Um, just telling you stuff right here. It's really important that you can really read. I'm not a fast reader, honestly. It takes me, you know, a couple, two, three seconds to read a sentence. I'm not like a speed reader. This, this screen can be kind of confusing. If you add in GM or whatever, just ignore it. That's me. I'm the Coyotes, and I am playing. Hit finish. And, okay. All right, well, we'll just do Yotes. We'll do Yotes uh, YouTube series. And we'll save it as that. It's saving it. I am good. All right, so here's a tutorial here coming in here, which is this is your first look at the actual in game. This is like the game basically. Um, saying welcome. You have different access. Uh, you have access to different areas. Uh, it's got all your just telling you what, what's here. You can uh, customize these six windows. This top thing is very important. All your buttons. It's saying. Um, manager menus right here. You can't see it yet. Here, I'll go through this with you. All right. This is your main screen. This is home. See, I'm clicking home. Going back to home. Forward to home. Back, back, back. So we're at home. You can ch uh, your big window here is player focus right now. I hope they change this in the future. Just I don't think it needs a big. I mean, then again, I don't know like what determines who's being shown here. Right now they're showing Andrew Campbell. This is the uh, profile page of a player. They all look like this. Just telling you information about it. Um, so we'll go through Andrew Campbell's profile here. Uh, so it was clickable. Um, up here, this takes you back to other things. We'll get to that later. You can scan through different players right here if you wish. Let's see? Yeah. You can click this, and it's a quick drop down of all the players. Um, let's go to, let's do Shane Dome. He's a respected player of mine. That's his salary. It expires next season, so you get him this year and next year. Basically, he's got two years left on it. Born, he's Canadian, age, weight, height, all this is accurate. Um, this is his attributes. I have downloaded a skin, a attribute skin, which basically... It helps shade these out. I think normally the high attributes are a light green and the ones in the middle, 13, 14, 12s, or like a dark green. I reverse that. It's very simple to do. I can make a video if people want to comment and ask for it about that. Um, so basically, yeah, so they're yellowish, orangey if they're in the middle. And there's nothing wrong with 11 deking. There, I mean, there really isn't. I mean, it's 1 through 20. So he's a, uh, and you can't look at it like, oh, he's half halfway good at deking. Um, I mean, he's 11 deking, so, you know, his fancy moves and deeks with the puck are, you know, they're average at best. Um, so Shane Doan, uh, his determination is 14. All this is in the manual. Um, checking, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's also a lot more stuff going on here than EA Sports BAGM. This just blows it away. Um, deflections, which is a whole separate thing. Geeking, face-offs, he's a winger, so, you know, it's not really gonna, it's actually a pretty good face-off rating for, uh, for a, uh, uh, for a winger. Hitting, um, hitting and checking are the same thing, right? But let's go to the, to the book real quick. I don't remember the actual difference in my head. I think checking is like, um, your defensive pressure. Hold on. Uh, I'm sorry, should I have this ready? <laughs> this is my first video like this, so you can tell I'm pretty pretty new at it. 
Okay. All right, here we go. I'm sorry. I think forever. All right, here we go. So we'll do checking. Where is it? Technical. Okay, here we go. Checking. Um, how good a player is at shadowing the opponents? Yeah. So it's just like how good you are at defense, basically. And then hitting is actual hitting. It's just more in depth. I'll go back. Um, slap shot, stick handling. Wrist, his wrist shot's actually better than that, I think. Or better than a 10. It's whatever. Um, I mean, you can't say. You know, there's things that I would. Uh, you know, there's things that I would change a little bit, but you can't tweak everything perfectly. And nothing's perfect in life. Um, it's pretty good though. I mean, I, I I'm agreeing with most of this. I mean, I I would change the wrist shot to like a 11 or 12, but. You know, it's not really a big deal. Um, Flair is like his his basically what, like his hero rating. You know when the game's down. Let's see, here's what it says. I'll screw this up. Uh, his flair. I think it was up actually. Yeah, how like the players to show off. Okay, never mind. Basically, it's basically a how exciting that he is. So his flair shouldn't be up too high. Well, creativity is like offensive awareness, bravery, a cow. You know, you want your captain to have a good rating like that. Uh, I think he is the captain, right? Yeah. Um, physical, not the fastest guy. He shouldn't be anyway. Yeah, he's not. Let's see, condition and morale, form. That's um, each game. There's a rating, and that's that shows a, that shows a, uh, the last five games of ratings. That's all of his stats. It's all in depth. Positions, he's accomplished left wing. He's a pretty good center, um, but he's he's a natural on the right. So you want to play him on the right or left, but not really. I mean, he yeah uh, he can do center, but he's a checking forward basically. So he's basically a second or third liner, probably a third liner. Um, that's all this is right here. There's the actions thing here. Lots of options. On that at a different time. And information, just details about him. 18 seasons in. This game, um, 40 games is a season. First round pick, number seven, 95 draft. He's an original Jet, actually. Um, he, he likes Carey Price and Keaton Ellerby. I think he's related to them in real life, if I'm not mistaken. So, He's proud to be the Coyotes. Yeah, so he he's a guy you don't want to trade. You just don't want to trade this guy. He's great for the team. Um, contract. Full-time contract. He has two years left. Um, expires. Group 3. UFA. He has a no-trade clause, which is interesting. Um, uh, history. This is all of his stats up through last year, not this season. Pretty incredible stuff. You can even look at it in his WHL stats only, which are highlighted in orange. You can look at it with his AHL. He played one year. It's over a point per game. You can look at his playoff stats only. Pretty insane. Poor guy has made the playoffs. Well, since 2000, well, post lockout three times. Pretty sad. No, wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can view it in achievements, competitions, awards. Um, yeah, you can do all that stuff here. Scattering reports. I'm a little confused by this still. Um, I think obvious players, older players, have this already, and players that are young don't. Um, you can view his report card. Basically, he's a pretty smart player, average score, great on defense. He's an all-around player, good player. Um, tells you about him here. Pretty interesting. Good for around 30 goals, 25 assists. So he's kind of like a power forward. Career role, checking forward. Um, that's pretty much it. I can actually scout him further, I think. I'll have... My head scout do it. Now come up later on. His bio. 
It tells you a bit more about him. As you can see, I won't dwell too long. This video is about twice as long as I intended it to be. But then again, there's lots of information. We'll go over my messages, and then I will end the video, and I'll start on another one. Uh, please feel free to comment. Uh, maybe I can make this a fun thing for you guys. Uh, it's fun for me, anyways. Welcome to Arizona Coyotes, Team Found in 79, plays out of the Jogger.com Arena. Uh, da, da, da. So far, the Stanley Cup crown has eluded us. As has any appearance in the finals. See, they color everything in with detail, which is nice. Dave Tippett is the head coach. You can click on his name. Boom, there he is. No picture. Um, he's a pretty, pretty good coach here. Judging player ability and potential is not the best. It's still good. Um, he can coach, though. As far as actually just coaching, he can coach. Adaptability, he kind of does his one way. So he's like a B- minus or B coach, basically. Not great, not but not bad. Um, tells you star players. So yeah, here we go. Yeah, now now the clickable Portland Pirates. I've got the background. That that normally that's like dark like this. Wait, hold on. I ah, didn't. Well, never mind. Normally it's like dark looking. <laughs> um, or it's like colored like this. Okay, yeah, normally it's like this. Obviously, I don't have them for the ECHL because no one probably really cares about that, which sucks, but yeah, see, it's kind of cool. Um, see, there's, right, well, this is the actual roster page. We'll go into this later, I'm trying to show you. That's the, the Javi.com arena, pretty nice looking. Hockey in the desert, who would have thought? All right, board announced expectations. They expect me to, to improve the team's roster during the season. There's the logo right there. Um, of W, I guess. I well, I got my last name, so um, they hired me. The great, this great uh, apathy. They they're basically not not cool with it, but they think that maybe I could be good. They're open to it. Schedule is out. Just telling you in brief who we're playing against. All right, and so that's pretty much it. We'll go over these other windows. So you can do general manager fo general manager focus there. I've not done anything, so it's completely stupid to have that. Player focus, we're so going to do that. I think it just does it randomly who's there. I'm not really sure. Team leaders or league leaders. I prefer to have team leaders there because you can just click on the NHL shield. Boom. Player staff. Boom. You're there. So, um... So yeah, and you get save percentage, shot blocks, uh, hitting, I get hits, I guess, yeah. Um, the latest news, this is the one window I don't really like to have. Waiver wire, draft rankings, you can change it. You know, it's whatever. Um, that's the upcoming schedule. That's the finances, which is a whole different animal. And that's the standings. You can change that to, if you want to do goalie stats, shutouts. It'll, it'll do that. Just a quick view of it. Um, pin it back. Change your finances, team injuries, suspensions. If I want to have my suspensions in a quick view, boom, there they are. Just, I just, I'm still so impressed by everything. All right, let's go ahead and cut this off. Uh, my next videos won't be as long and drawn out. Sorry. All right, thanks for watching.